welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing my new hair routine so a while back I did come out with a hair routine and I do have an updated routine on my Instagram but for my YouTube fam I want to give you like an in-depth like the new products that I'm using and how I'm taking care of this red hair right here so yeah we're gonna be doing all of that good stuff and my hair is still in the drying process but yeah it still has its color and to be honest, I really like day two of my hair because day one, it loses a lot of its um, volume and it shrinks a lot. So day two is when I can really kind of like mess with it and poof it out. Day one is like really the drying process and you know, this is how it looks. It, it's cute, don't get me wrong, but I like the va -va -um volume, you know? And a couple things I did want to um, add to this video is that I wash my hair once a week. So I do a hair mask once a week and my hairstyle can last up to the latest is like seven days, but it's like in that time, it's like more poofy than curly. So it really lasts like with the products and everything, it really lasts for about five days. And my hair type is a mix between 4B and 4C. So All right, hold up. So I actually meant 4A and 4B instead of 4B and 4C. So I'm a mix between 4A, 4B, and 3C. So it is curly, but I also have like some of the, like around here, you can see that it's more of like the 4C type. And then up here, it's more of the 4B because it's a lot more curly. Before I get into the video though, please subscribe to my channel, be a part of my mermaid squad. I would love to have you come come join the fam and comment down below any questions that you have throughout the video that I didn't get to answer. So yeah, so let's get into this hair right here. I'm gonna show you how I wash it, how I style it, all that good stuff. So yeah, let's get started. Hey guys, so let's get this hair washed. So the first thing that I do is I run my hair under cold water and I like to use cold water because it's good for my curls and it's good for the red color in my hair. And then I'm gonna go in with this shampoo by Macadamia. Honestly, it's okay. I got it because it was on sale. So uh, I really like Design Essentials. I'll show you um, later in the video. But I'm just gonna make sure that it's all saturated, really get in there. And then I use this hair scalp tool, which I freaking love. It just really massages your hair and makes sure that the shampoo gets really deep into your scalp. So I just use this all over my head in circular motions. And then I'm gonna wash it out with cold water again. So now I'm gonna take my favorite shampoo. I actually really like this brand. So it is the Sign Essentials Almond and Avocado Shampoo. This shampoo is so moisturizing, so you only need a little bit. So I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did with the Macadamia Shampoo. And since this was on sale, I'm going to take the macadamia conditioner. So everybody was raving about this when I worked at Ulta, so I decided to try it out, and since it was on sale, it's okay. Like I said, it's moisturizing, but I really like Design Essentials a little bit more. And then I'm gonna take this red conditioner, which I also really don't like. I'm gonna pop up a picture of the one that I do like that I used before, but I mix those two, and this really helps my hair stay red because I get a lot of questions about that. And then I just sandwich my hands together with the product and just make sure that every strand is covered. So I like to leave this in while I wash my body just to, you know, make it a little bit more conditioned, make sure that the red stays on there. And then I'm gonna come back and wash it out with cold water again. To help reduce frizz, I like to take an old t-shirt and make sure that my hair is dry that way because if you use a towel, it's just gonna make your hair really frizzy. So this is just gonna help control the frizz and then I just wrap it up in like a little turban. So let's go do our hair mask now. So this is what my hair looks like without any product or anything, I just kind of fluffed it out. So it is getting so long, oh my gosh, I love it. So I'm just gonna split it down the center just so I can section it off so I can detangle each area because it really helps my hair out since it's so, so thick. So once I get it into the two sections, I'm gonna take this hair tie right here and just tie up the extra section right here. And then I'm just gonna work on the bottom half and then work my way up. And I like to start with the right side first because I do have a lot more hair on that side. And just to move the hair out of the way, I'm gonna take 
take some butterfly clips to make sure that they don't get in my way while I work. So since my hair dries really quickly, I'm going to take this spray bottle. So I'm going to spray each section so it's nice and saturated for the mask that I'm going to use. And I've been raving about this mask all over Instagram. It is the Almond Milk by Carol's Daughter. I'm so obsessed with it because it's so hydrating and it's milk. So my hair really loves this since I, I said it's like really thick. So I just put this all over and make sure that every piece of strand is, again, saturated. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with my handy dandy Cura Do, which I love. It's a hair steamer. I've been using this hair steamer for years and it honestly has helped my hair so much. And it just helps your hair get that extra moisture. I love it so so much so it has this red light here that blinks when it's warming up and then when it's ready it is solid red so yeah you guys should definitely invest in this if you have some natural hair because it'll just give you some extra hydration and be careful you don't want to put it too close to your scalp because it is hot and you don't want to burn yourself and this is another tool I've actually been using. This is the Easy Detangler brush, and I love it. It's really good for thick hair. See how it just separates? It's so nice. So I've been using that, and I've been going really slow. I start with my ends first, and then I move all the way up to the root. And you want to start with the ends first so you get all the tangles out, because if you just start right from the root, you're going to rip your hair out, and it's not going to be a fun time. So make sure you're going slow with this process. So the steps that I do is I take my spray bottle first with water. I make sure that it's nice and wet. And then I put the almond milk mask on my ends of my hair. I do my ends first and then I go all the way up to my root. And then I take my Cura Dude and make sure that the mask really penetrates deep into my hair follicle to make it a lot more hydrating. And then I take the easy detangler brush and then I slowly brush it out just to make sure that every strand is covered. And yeah, I just repeat this whole step all over my hair until it's completely done. So I'm going to show you guys each step so you can really get like a feel of what I do. So yeah, I'm going to stop talking now so you can watch this. <laughs> All right, so now that the mask is all in my hair, you see how I just fluffed it up, made it look so cute. I love it, but yeah, we're not done yet. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna be taking this castor oil. So I actually don't do this. I just wanted to try this out for the first time today because I feel like my ends are really dry. So I'm just gonna put that on the ends of my hair in the front because as you can see, my hair is disintegrating. I don't know what's happening there. But anyway, so I'm just going to take that, put that all over the ends of my hair and then take the Cura Do, go back one more time, make sure that it gets that hydration that it needs. And then I'm actually going to sleep in this overnight. I sleep in all of my masks overnight, so I get that extra hydration and I feel like my hair really, really likes that. So I just keep doing it. And yeah, I will see you guys uh, tomorrow when I come back with freshly washed hair and then I'll show you guys how I style it. All right, so it's the next day. I washed out the mask and the castor oil, so I'm just gonna take off my little towel and get started with the styling process. So this is what my hair looks like with no product again, with the mask all washed out. It's so nice and hydrated and detangled, so it's a lot easier to run my fingers through it. So the first thing that I'm gonna do again is just split it right in half. So I work in sections so I can make sure that every strand of hair is saturated with the product. And I'm gonna split it into four sections with butterfly clips. And even though I did wash my hair, uh, my ends are always still really dry. So I'm just gonna take my spray bottle again and make sure that the area is nice and wet. And then I'm gonna take my favorite, favorite styling products right now are by Curlsmith. 
So I'm gonna use the Curl Smith in Shower Fixer first. So I'm actually gonna take a big amount of it and I'm just gonna sandwich it in between my hair and this really helps hold the curl. Like if I don't do this step and I just do the um, curl definer, which you guys are gonna see, it doesn't really hold as well. So the in shower styler really, really holds that curl and makes it more defined. And I love that these products don't make my hair crunchy. This is like A1. So after the in shower fixer, I'm gonna go in with the curl definer by Curlsmith as well. And this just makes sure that the curls are nice and defined, like I said, but the in shower one is a little bit stronger, but these two together just makes my curls look so poppin'. So the methods I like to use to apply my styling products is the sandwiching, which is taking both of my hands with the hair in between it and then kind of like smoothing it through my hair. And then I like to scrunch it just to make sure that it really makes the curls nice and defined. And once my whole head is done, I just like to scrunch it again, like using that um, scrunching technique just to make sure that they're nice and defined and the curls don't lose its shape. So I'm just gonna do that throughout my head and then I'm actually gonna let it air dry. I don't use any like hot tools or anything for my hair, I just let it air dry. And that's about it, that's all that I do for my hair. All right, so this is my hair almost completely dry. I don't really like to mess with it too much when it does dry because I don't want to, you know, mess up the curls. So I kind of just let it do its thing. So I like to just, um, cause this is my good side. So I like to push my hair over to this side. It usually takes a day um, to dry completely. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I answered any questions that you guys did have. If you have any other questions that I didn't get to answer, just leave it down in the comments down below and I promise I will get back to you. Also stay tuned for this makeup look right here. This is like my everyday makeup look. I did show you guys in my quarantine routine video, um, but I wanna have like a video dedicated specifically to that. And I have a new foundation that I wanna try. I haven't tried it yet cause I wanna wait for you guys but stay tuned till next Thursday I'm gonna be doing this look right here so yeah don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel be a part of my mermaid squad and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>